The government now wants to streamline saw milling industry to tame the country sliding back to deforestation. Before the ban on logging is lifted, the government has ordered fresh registration of all saw millers alongside all forest associations in the country. The move, according to the Ministry of Forestry, will help keep track on tree harvesting in the country for purposes of ensuring that Kenya is not left a desert by greedy profiteers. <laughs> Speaking during the commemorations of the International Day for Biodiversity, Environment and Forestry Principal Secretary Charles Nkoli said no one without a valid permit will be allowed to harvest any tree in the country. Kenya Forest Harvest is under direction to make sure that they immediately commence the registration of all the sawmillers in Kenya to know who is going to be in our list, who is involved in the utilization of these resources. Kenya Forest Service will also be required to re-register again the Kenya, the Community Forest Association to make sure that they are harmonized. Environmentalists present at the ceremony shedding light on how to rip from the environment while maintaining the intricate balance between man and nature. When you fell a tree, how much can you convert that tree into a product? So that is what we are focusing on, so that as we get wood for the construction industry, it is being gotten in a way that we need to cut a few trees and we get enough of what we want. I believe if we give the community an alternative, maybe there, there's destruction because of, of uh, economic reasons and what is the option? You know, I need charcoal, I need this, but if we can give them something that they can actually empower their economic livelihood, we'll, we'll both gain. It's a win-win. Kenya announced a 90 days moratorium on logging almost three months ago after cries that the country was quickly turning into a desert thanks to greedy loggers. Animal and plant life available in the country is sufficient to continue feeding the growing population as a sustainable measure of development. But even as the government continues to play its role, it's calling for active public participation in the initiative. Rose Gakuo for Channel 1, News Hour.